S20 Ultra versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's go. So the rumors are true, the S20 Ultra packs a ton of features. This device is the behemoth, but how does it stack up against the iPhone 11 Pro Max? We do know 11 Pro Max comes with a 6.5 inch display. That resolution, of course, is kind of funky. Galaxy, of course, comes with one of the best displays in the market, and the S20 Ultra is no slouch. At uh, 6.9 inches, it is a lovely display, 2K resolution. You've also got 120 hertz refresh rate, but that's at 1080p. Plus, this device itself has touch sampling of 240 hertz, so which means when you're gaming, like I will be, and you see that in our next video, this thing is truly smooth and amazing. Now, in terms of internals, this is powered by the Snapdragon 865 processor. We've seen that this processor can shoot in 8K, and yes, this device can, we'll get to that in a second. But the 865 processor promises a lot of fun features, especially for gaming. Now, the iPhone, of course, has the, you know, uh, a Bionic uh, processors, which are really good. So I'm not gonna compare those two because we know how they both stack up, and we're still yet to see how well the 865 performs. But in terms of internals, you're looking at 12 gigabytes of RAM starting, and the Ultra goes up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. But in terms of storage though, this is where it beats the iPhone, iPhone size is 64. This starts at 128, will go next level up to 512, and you can expand it with a one terabyte SD card because it still has an SD card slot in here. So that part is really cool. Now, when we flip devices to the back, this is where you guys are waiting for. Now, the iPhone has a triple camera setup. We know that. It looks pretty nice. It's 12 megapixels. And of course, now you can shoot with multiple cameras at the same time with that, of course, third-party app. But the iPhone is well known for its cameras taking better, great low light photos as well as also video. Now, the S20 Ultra comes in with a triple camera setup. First, it has a 108 megapixel main sensor. This is a massive sensor in here. Uh, and this sensor gives you a ton of features. So the S20 Ultra gives you three times more load like capability than the S10 because of course of the nano binding of, course, of all uh, the pixels. Uh, you've got multi ISO uh, uh, composition. So there are a ton of things that it actually does. We'll have to see that when we do the camera test. This also has, of course, lossless zoom, 10x lossless zoom, and 100x zoom as well. So that is also there. You've also got an ultra wide camera, telephoto, all those things packed in together to make it truly insane. Again, we have to see that. Of course, this time there is also support for, of course, steady shot. But SteadyShot has been improved to support both axes, not just, you know, uh, Y axis, but X axis as well. And this device also shoots at 8K. 8K, 24 frames per second. And it shoots all cameras, all cameras on the Galaxy S20, just like the iPhone 11 Pro Max shoots at 4K, 60 frames per second. So you still have that ability of 4K, 60, but you can bump up to 8K, 24 if you need to on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now another cool feature is something called single take. Single take allows you to take one photo or one shot and capture photo in either uh, ultra wide, uh, telephoto, wide, uh, video, um, you know, <clears throat> basically taking shots in every single camera possibility you need. So you snap one shot, you can get a little video and an ultra wide at the same time and decide what you want to share on social media. I think that aspect is really cool. Now you've also got a 5,000 milliamp battery in here compared to the 3,900 milliamp. Now the iPhone battery life is pretty good, but this should really boost the Galaxy S20 Ultra up there. This of course supports 25 watt charging that Samsung has or the 45 watt charger as well. Now. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging on those brand new Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, so you can use it with that. The iPhone doesn't have any form of reverse wireless charging. Both devices do have wireless charging, and of course, both of them are IP rated as well. Now, when it comes to gaming, as you'd expect, the iPhone is a good gaming device, does heat up pretty well, so that's just something to take note. The Galaxy has, of course, of course special cooling, as they usually do every year, but again, going back to that display, 120 hertz, and of course, 240 here to touch sampling uh, with this device and a lot of RAM, 12 gigs of RAM starting, 16 gigabytes of RAM on the Ultra. It's the only device that goes up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So that is truly insane. So when we're playing all our games, uh, but the cool thing about it is that now you can lock in 
five applications that will constantly start whenever you switch out. So basically, you can lock in all your games, and while you're gaming, you can go and do other things and come right back and continue at the spot where you stop without because you've got so much RAM to use. Now they're actually tying it in there uh, to actually do a lot of stuff with this device. And here's the big kicker compared, of course, to the iPhone 11 Pro, Pro Max. The Galaxy S20 Ultra is a fully 5G capable device. This is not a 5G variant or anything like that. It supports both millimeter wave and sub six. So you can pick this up from samsung.com uh, and use it on any carrier's 5G uh, service or any carrier's 4G LTE service as well. So you don't have to buy a special version of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. You just have to buy the Galaxy S20 Ultra and it does. Well, of course the iPhone 11 Pro Max doesn't have 5G or there is no 5G variant for this device yet. So there you have it guys, that is the battle between these two juggernauts. The Ultra looks like a complete beast and you're thinking how much is pricing? Well, the Galaxy S20 Ultra starts at $1399 uh, and I'm not sure how it moves up in price but that's what it is but it does come with a ton of features in there and it is a 5G device. Let me know what you think and also what kind of videos you'd like to see. I'll be doing my gaming video, I'm also going to be doing some more videos on the camera itself, we'll do a camera walkthrough for you guys but is there anything you want to see, leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.